children in the previous class you learned different kinds of lines now let's revise through a fun activity some kinds of lines can you see a leaf over here tell me which kind of line is at the center yes it's a horizontal line can you see some other lines tell me which line is it yes those are slant lines slant lines are also called as inclined lines is there any other kind of line here there is there is a curved line too there is a horizontal line slant line and there's a curved line now using these lines i will teach you something interesting so let's start children let's do drawing today the topic is shapes take a scale in your hand and as you can see the number 1 on scale aapko wo number 1 dikh raha hai ha we will start from number 1 to number 8 when you draw the line what you will do is number 1 se aap shuru karoge to number 1 pe aap kya karoge dot daloge theek hai dot and then number 8 ko dekho aur wahan par dot dalo Now what you will do is join both the dots. इस लाइन को हम क्या कहते हैं पता है दिस लाइन इज कॉल्ड एज हॉरिजोंटल लाइन नाउ वी विल ड्रॉ दी अदर लाइन सिमिलरली द सेम वे फ्रॉम द डॉट विच इज ऑलरेडी देर नंबर वन से नंबर एट तक लोगे आप अगेन द सेम मेजरमेंट नाउ दिस लाइन विच यू गॉट इज अ वर्टिकल लाइन okay this is a vertical line now again the next line we will draw there's already a dot there so that means that's number 1 and then we will draw another dot till number 8 1 2 8 now we will join both the lines the edges of both the lines this is also 1 2 8 So now you got a beautiful square of measurement one to eight. The four sides of a square are also known as edges. Now tell me how many corners does it have? A square has four corners. All the edges of a square are of same measurement, isn't it? That means all the sides of a square are of equal length. so that's why it's called a square ab hum kya karenge usko hum sketch pen se uska border denge okay now we will draw so this is a square one shape we have done now we will go to the next shape let's see what we have to do next Again, we are going to take the measurement. Now I'll draw the next shape. The line will be much bigger this time, from number one to number ten. One pe dot maro, or fir ten per dot maro, and then join both the dots. Now, this is which line, children? That's right. It's it's a horizontal line. Now we will draw the uh, the next line that is holding from the end point of the first line. That will be the number one till number five. This time we will not take number till number ten. We will take till number five. So this line, what you got is a. vertical line from 1 to 5 so we have the vertically opposite lines of the same measurement okay they are vertical lines of the same measurement now the horizontal lines will be the same measurement the opposite horizontal lines dono ka measurement ab same rahega upar humne 10 cm liya hai to niche bhi hamara 10 hi hoga theek hai इसका मतलब क्या हो रहा है कि जो ऑपोजिट लाइंस है उनका मेजरमेंट सेम आ रहा है 
so can you see the shape of this figure can you recognize the shape of this figure yes this shape is a rectangle a rectangle has opposite sides equal you understand both the horizontal lines jo opposite hai wo equal hai aur both the vertical lines jo opposite hai wo bhi equal hai only opposite sides are equal so when the opposite sides are equal it is called a rectangle so now let's draw the borders of the rectangle in black the outline in black so that it looks more presentable so here we drew a rectangle now the first one is a square the second one is a rectangle and the third one is a let's see what's the third one one dot two dot and three dots okay so you must have guessed it right it's a three sided figure having only three sides we will join the dots so what figure is this children yes it's a triangle a triangle has three sides right so we did three shapes today that is a square a rectangle and a triangle now children let's play a little game now can you see the four objects on the screen let's identify the shapes of the objects which object is of square shape yes a rubik's cube is square shape which object is of rectangle shape yes the television is rectangle shape which object is of triangle shape yes the pizza slice is triangle shape now yes a drawing is incomplete without coloring it so let's color the figures here you will learn something very interesting today yes how to color okay so now let's color the square first i'm using red color here just see how i observe how i'm coloring in one direction see that you color in one direction very evenly spread the color coloring ke liye aapko bahut patient hona padta hai so it's done right but this is not all children what we are going to do here is we are going to learn something new here we are going to take a little darker shade of red and we will overlap this coloring right overlap karenge aur hum isko double shade denge yes so you are learning to shade basically तो डबल शेड कैसा करना है देख लो ओनली वन साइड यू विल शेड ओनली वन साइड ऑफ योर स्क्वेर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज शेडिंग सी नाउ इट विल लुक सो डिफरेंट एंड सी हाउ आई स्प्रेड माई फिंगर आई स्प्रेड द कलर विद माई फिंगर्स सेम सेम वे यू विल डू देखो कितना खूबसूरत लग रहा है है ना सो वी आर डन ओके नाउ वी विल कलर द रेक्टेंगल इन द सेम मैनर डू इट अ लिटिल लाइटर बिकॉज यहाँ पे आपकी शेडिंग थोड़ी अलग होगी फर्स्ट यू कलर द होल पिक्चर दैट इज द होल रेक्टेंगल हाँ वेरी लाइट ओके so this we have given a purple shade now we will shade it again with another color we will shade this time from both the sides not just the one side a little darker shade of purple 
तो हम एक साइड से शेड करेंगे थोड़ा सा थम से हम उसको फैलाएंगे वी विल स्प्रेड इट लिटिल बिट ओके अब हम क्या करेंगे वी विल शेड इट फ्रॉम दी अदर साइड ऑल्सो यस बोथ दी साइड तो वी विल नाउ गो टू दी अदर साइड और वहां से भी हम शेडिंग करेंगे सो सी यर आई हैव डन द शेडिंग फ्रॉम बोथ दी साइड एंड आई एम स्प्रेडिंग लिटिल बिट विद माई फिंगर टिप और दी थम can you see how beautiful it looks right children it looks very beautiful and unique now we will go to the triangle let's shade the triangle double shading first a lighter a lighter shade a lighter shade okay we have done it now you have to take a darker shade of blue yes here is another darker shade of blue you can take any darker shade of blue and now both the corners from both the corners we will start making another shade and we will spread with our finger tip or thumb so you saw children how we did the shading yeah and it looks so beautiful i'm sure you'll be able to do so do try and enjoy shading